Vicki again, and I'm here to talk to you about another one of the eight pillars of the manifest in your own. The pillar I want to talk to, to you about today is mirror consciousness. Mirror consciousness is basically the concept that whatever we see out in the world, whatever manifests in our physical reality, is there because it's in our consciousness. And almost always it's subconscious, especially the bad stuff. When bad things are happening in your life, it's because of some sort of negative orientation inside your subconscious. One of the best gifts, one of the most powerful gifts I've ever been given was from one of my spiritual teachers who's, who kept saying to me at a retreat, she kept saying, well, Vicki, he's your mirror. Or, well, Vicki, that is your mirror. And she never explained it to me. I had to think about it. As I it. went around in my world, you know, around my life and um, encountered negative things uh, affecting me where I felt victimized, I'd think, well, how is this person my mirror? Or how is, how is this event um, my, the, a mirror of my subconscious? And, and I would look inside and I would think about it. And what's interesting about it is it's never really direct. Uh, just per, because you look at a person and say, oh, well, they're a really selfish person, doesn't mean that you're directly selfish. It's more like a very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, an altered image. Like, like if you were to stand in front of a mirror in a fun house where your image is distorted. It's more like that. It's not a direct reflection. You have to look around. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to truly want to know and take personal responsibility for your for your creations. Sometimes it's really hard to take personal responsibility um, for some ugly things that happen in our life because it's really hard to believe that there's something in our subconscious that could be manifesting that. Unfortunately, it's true. Um, the spirit world uh, passes through our perceptions and creates our reality for us. And so in order to change our reality, we must look inside and find out how our reality reflects our subconscious. When we do that, when we're able to do that and say, oh, I see this aspect of myself that um, is reflecting into my outer reality, what's interesting about that point in time is that facing the truth is like standing in sacred space. And we've talked about sacred space before. You can go to that link and see that video and read some of that material and look at the charts. Sacred space is that place where reality is created. The more you stand in the truth, the more you can look at yourself by using the world and the people in it as a mirror to your subconscious. The more that you can look inside, the more powerful you become. The more that you feel the need to say, well, this outer reality happened to me. I didn't have anything to do with it. I'm a victim. The more you're in that space, the less power you have. Having personal power can be extremely frightening. When I first started doing the mirror consciousness approach to uh, looking at my life and my problems, uh, it was really hard on my ego. It was really hard on my self-concept because I thought I was a pretty okay person. And uh, really, you are an okay person. I mean, we all have, um, again, we all have positive and negative aspects of ourself. And part of learning to work with your mirror images and looking inside is to have that sense of seeing, the gift of seeing, uh, m much like a child sees things um, very innocently without judgment. Um, when you were a small child, you probably made mistakes based upon your innocence. And when you look back on that, you don't feel the same shame or guilt that you might have felt as a child thinking that you were doing something wrong and you were supposed to feel guilty for it. You might just look back on that childish act and say, oh, wasn't that cute? So that's seeing. That's um, seeing yourself when you look at your mirror uh, of the outer world and you look inside yourself to see what's causing that. At first, you might want to feel bad about yourself or ashamed of yourself, but that's just your talking self and your internal predator trying to make you feel bad so it can keep control. Um, eventually, if you keep working with the manifest in era, 
you will go beyond that and you will see yourself as the innocent pure child that you really are and then you become empowered to stand in sacred space and make changes in your life so using mirror consciousness is an extremely powerful tool it again it can be painful at first um, it can be scary sometimes we don't want to know what's in our subconscious or it's very guarded sometimes it seems very dark and very deep but when you shine a light on the darkness it simply disappears so as you go about your world and you go about your life look around you and whenever you feel like passing judgment on something or labeling it bad or you feel angry at someone ask yourself how is this person my mirror and really be honest with yourself and really dig deep and see if there's not some sort of skewed version of of that being mirrored much like the mirrors in a fun house uh, and you will see that that empowers you a great deal Thank you.